Alabama and maybe the nation's not really looking at you like the Georgia of old and you come out here at number one and do what you did tonight? I mean, you can't really get too caught up into the to the ranking and what number you're ranked because we were the number one team that we lost. Like, that, that doesn't matter. So you just have to come out here and keep competing, keep working hard because we play in a great conference and it's week to week. So we got to come out here and work hard every week. You've obviously got a big one coming up next week against you know, some old friends. Well, what are you looking forward to in two weeks, your next game? What are you looking forward to with that one? Man, excited about it. I get to see some of the former teammates. You know, there's nothing but love for those guys. You know, we, we talk more than often, so it's just I can't wait to get out there and compete against my friends, man, my brothers. Trevor, what do you think this win says about this football team? Man, we just work hard. We, we came out, you know, didn't really start how we wanted to start, but we fought. We fought for all four quarters, and that's – I'm proud of the defense, how they fought for all four quarters and how they played was lights out. So just, you know, just how tough this team is, man. Was there something about the team maybe a little more mentally locked in this game? No, I just say we, we were able to execute more certain plays. You know, just like I said earlier in the week, we wanted to come out and focus on execution. Earlier in the game, we had a couple of turnovers. You know, things weren't going our way, a couple of drop passes, but we, we didn't let that phase us. We kept going. And then later in the game, we started executing. Kirby said uh, post-game that nobody believed in y'all. I think he was talking about everyone on game day picking against. Did, did y'all see that? Did y'all I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's hard not to see, but, you know, that's just fuel to the fire, man. You know, I mean, we all we got, we all we need. That's the kind of mindset we have on this team and in this locker room. So. You know, when we, we just hear that noise, that outside noise, it just motivates us. Trevor, what was the conversation with you guys as an offense uh, after the, the overturned call and they, they score and all of a sudden it's a one possession game? Like, take me through. I mean, it was really out of our control. You know, we couldn't control it, so we couldn't focus on it. You know, we had a lot of game left to play, so let's move on. Next drive. How important was it for you guys to go and get the points on that drive? Definitely, it was, it was a huge drive. You know, it's a huge moment in the game. I'm just glad we were able to come back, you know, and finish the game strong. Trevor, your gesture after one of your touchdowns, what does that mean? What, what are you trying to say? Which one? I mean, you, ha you did the, you know, the little... The silence of the crowd? Yeah, is that what you're, that what you're thinking right there? Yeah, man, they were talking noise pre-game. You know, I just I just felt like the need to, to shush the crowd, man. It, <laughs> With the games like this, whenever you transfer from Florida here, that you had hoped to play in, be able to get the opportunity to play in games like tonight. Yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, coming to Georgia, you know, it's you're going to have big games. You know, every team's going to play you tough. So just coming out and just coming and compete is just a blessing, really. Trevor nasal strip guidance. What does "Why not us" mean this week? What does I mean, that mean? Why not us? You know, I feel like the time is now, you know, all week I talk about how we wasn't executing, how we wasn't playing that type of, our brand of Georgia football. So, like, why not tonight? Why not us? Why can't tonight be the night for us to have our breakout? Yeah, that's it. Thanks, Trevor. All right.